Hey folks, it's me, Brian. As you know, I live in the DMV, which stands for District of Columbia, DC, Maryland, Virginia. If you live anywhere around DC, the surrounding suburbs, you say, I live in the DMV. And living in the DMV, I, also, I often find myself in all three jurisdictions. I find myself in DC, I found myself in Maryland and Virginia. Today, I was in Virginia, which has ABC stores. They don't call them package stores like Maryland. They call them ABC stores, alcohol beverage control stores. And this is what I'm having tonight, which I purchased from an ABC store. It's called Virginia Gentleman, which is a bourbon whiskey. This video is dedicated to superfan Harold, who is a Virginia gentleman. This particular uh, whiskey is distilled in Kentucky and redistilled in Virginia by the, uh, I think they call it the Smith ba Bauman Company. But Cesarac owns them. They own everything. Someone needs to, to at least investigate why they don't violate antitrust laws. The Sherman Antitrust Act. I don't know how they don't violate that because they seem to own anything related to bourbon and whiskey in the United States so, and other things. And they own this. So let's crack this mini open, which cost me $149 from Virginia Gentleman. And as you can see, it's very lightly colored. I'm two drams in, by the way. I've already had two drams of whiskey prior to this video. This is what it looks like, folks. Very light colored, probably wasn't aged long in a cask. Um, I think the 750 milliliter bottles are on the bottom shelf or either next to the bottom shelf. It's not top shelf stuff. Super fan Jeff is though. Um, and uh, I don't know how much it costs, the 750 milliliter. You're just gonna have to look that up on your own. But here's what it looks like. How, how does it smell? It's kind of not, not very strong on the aromas. You're not getting a lot of honey or sweetness. You're getting a little, but not a whole lot. So I don't expect it to be a sweet dram. Not, not a lot of spiciness either. Not a lot of oak or leather or anything of uh, that ilk. Well, enough of the sniffing. Let's take a taste. Prost, my friends. It's 80 proof. Um, it's not a heavy. It's not a heavy whiskey. It's not sweet. I'd say it's uh, semi-sweet. Very boozy. Very strong, not mellow at all. Has a little bit of spice to it, a little bit of oak to it. I, I I could taste some of the oak in it. Can't really smell it, but you could taste it. A bit watery. I mean, I'm drinking this straight. It's it's a bit watery. It's not very flavorful. Um, whiskey. Uh, how would I rate this? I'd, I'd give it a C, you know, 72, 73 out of 100. Uh, you know, when you get something that's on the bottom shelf, you shouldn't expect a lot. If you don't pay it a lot of money, you shouldn't really expect a lot. And you should give it some grace, uh, some mercy when you review it. So uh, that's why I'm I'm not giving it like a D or an F or anything like that, uh, but I am giving it uh, a C. Anyway, folks, stay safe. 
Stay sane, and I will see you on the next video.